when we start, we can see here that we have 300 alerts. And actually, sometimes we're going to have to do this. Let's change to the last 24 hours to have more data. And then you will see that we have 540 alerts triggered. There are a lot. So what we have to do is, if we want to start troubleshooting what is happening, we have to start with something smaller. So what we can do is go to device groups, and then go to priority and filter only for P1 devices. Now we're going to have a smaller number of alerts, 148, so we can start troubleshooting the alerts. So let's start with the most severe alert. In this case, is this one, is the Chicago Firewall connections. The number of connections is lower than 50% of the baseline. So it looks that like we have less connections than we expected. Okay, let's troubleshoot that. How do we do that? We start from a high level view, then we start with the workflows. We drill down to more specific views. In this case, for the device, we have two options. We have the network device summary, and also we have the Cisco ASA device summary. Let's go to this one. Now here, we'll see that yeah, this alert is triggered. Also, I can see a bunch of CPU alerts. I will have a look later onto that. And yeah, I can see here on this graph, actually, I can go to this one here, that is gonna see much better, that we had a couple of issues on the number of connections. Okay, so yeah, I can see the alert that the number of connections is quite low. I can see here, it's fine. What do we do? Well, let's tr keep troubleshooting. Let's keep having a look at the other options to see if we can find why this is happening. So we can go through the other tabs. We can see here the connections, everything looks fine. We can go to IPsec. There are no issues. We can go to SSL. Again, we don't see issues. Then we go to CPU. And when we go to CPU, say, look, it looks like we have here two spikes of CPU. And actually, remember before we saw the alerts, there were some alerts on CPU. How can we check if this correlates with the issues with connections? Well, you can click here on the graph and let's go to the instant graph workshop. Again, we're doing the workflow. We are following a path to troubleshoot the issue. We started from the high level view, we went to the device view, now we go to a more granular view to try to correlate information between two different indicators. So let's get here, this is the CPU. Any CPU will do, you will see that there are CPU one, two, three, it doesn't really matter, all of them are height. What we have to do is add the connections object because we want to do is correlate both metrics in the same chart. When you select the second object, you will see that the indicator disappear, not a problem. Just say like again, the five minutes, for example, and the current connections. And now you will see here, there is a strong correlation between the CPU going height and the drop in number of connections. And actually you can see here that they spot pretty much at the same time. So we can say that, yeah, is related, the drop of connections uh, due to the high CPU. This is good, we could stop here, but actually say, okay, but why is this happening? Why do we have so much CPU utilization? Well, let's go back, and then you can see that we can click back on the breadcrumbs, so this is very important that you don't lose where you were. You go always keep track of what you're doing. And then let's keep going. We can go to memory, that's not really important, but what is important is processes. I want to see which processes are having high CPU. So we have identified in the CPU tab that we're having high CPU. Let's check which processes are having high CPU. And here you can see, yeah, we have here a spike, we have another spike. And actually, if we order this by max, you can see that is the SSL process that is having CPU issues. Okay, let's see if this is normal. If this is not normal, let's click here and let's go to the data analytics workspace because I want to see if this kind of spike of, CPU, of SSL process using CPU are normal. And you can see here that these are the spikes and they are not normal. We've seen several spikes in other times, but not at the same time. So I would say that this is not normal behavior. This is something that should alert us because this is not expected. Now you can see that we have some spikes here. These over the time they will be removed. The problem is that we started this a few weeks ago. The baseline is still building up but at some point this will be more even and you will see the spikes much, much better. This is a good time to show the other options, like show time over time as well, if you want to see the difference between today and, last, and the last week or trends or projected, not so important, probably calendar. 
it's quite an interesting one. So you can change to the last seven days to see that every now and then yeah, there are spikes of CPU. So it looks like it's not always at the same time. It looks that maybe it's not every day, but almost every day. So it's something weird in this situation. So I can see that high CPU uh, because generated because uh, from the SSL process. So what can I do? Well, actually, what we could do is Google why is this happening. So we could do is Cisco ASA high CPU SSL process. And I agree. And you can see that one of the first options that you will see here, it will tell you that this is generated sometimes by DDoS attacks or very similar, in this case, seen attacks. Okay, so we have identified that we have drops in number of connections because we have high CPU. The high CPU is generated by the SSL process. And actually here, I go to Google, I can see that this can be generated because of seen attacks. What can we do? Well, in this case, we also have NetFlow enabled on this device. So we can go to the flow tab and see, we see something interesting on the flow data. And here you will see all the interfaces of this device, and then using metric to flow, you can see all the other information, top talkers, top conversations, top applications, nothing very interesting from this kind of point of view that we're trying to troubleshoot. But if you scroll down, you can see here denial of service. And yeah, you can see that at this time, exactly at the same time of the spikes, we are having lots of TCP SIM packets. So it looks like we are having some kind of DDoS attack or uh, much more traffic at this point in time from this kind of uh, packet, this type of traffic, that that is potentially generating the SSL spikes, that is generating the CPU spikes, that is generating the drops on the uh, connections. Actually, just to make sure that is the case, we can go to connections. And from here, we have configured the metric flow, just select flow. And then you will see the correlation between the TCP scene traffic packets and the drop on connection. Now that we have identified that this is the issue and we can work on that because now here we have all the IP addresses that are generating the traffic so we can configure our IPS or IDS or firewall to drop these IP addresses. We have solved the first issue. We can go back. We can go to active alerts again and continue troubleshooting the rest of the alerts that we have triggered. And that's all for today. And that's all for today.